Hi, as a singer and a songwriter, I get to express myself every day. Sadly, for many people, they don't express themselves often enough, especially when it matters. I've dedicated my life to helping people see the importance of sharing and connecting. My sister was one of those people who silenced her voice. My name is Starshell, the name that I took as a tribute to my beautiful sister, Starshell, who I lost to suicide. When she died, I struggled, and of course I grieved. I tried to find ways to get past the devastating tragedy and loss. No matter how far I've come, the truth is that I always had questions. Most importantly, I asked myself, why? Why didn't she come talk to me? Why didn't I see anything was wrong? Why didn't she say anything? Starshell was beautiful, popular, and everything that every girl wanted to be. She was everything that I ever wanted to be. I want to break the mold of what suicide looks like. It's something that many people are touched by at one time or another. If it isn't your own struggle with suicidal thoughts or attempts, someone you know or love may be facing this struggle, whether or not they've talked about it. And that's the problem. It's an issue that no one wants to talk about. More people now die of suicide than in car accidents. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, in 2010, there were 33,687 deaths due to car crashes and there were 38,364 deaths due to suicide. Suicide holds a stigma and people don't talk about it. I don't know how to save someone's life or what to say to them, but what I do know is that just talking helps. How many times have you felt the weight of the world on your shoulders and just talked about it and then felt better? How about if I asked you right now what was bothering you on this very day one year ago? Most of you will probably not be able to answer. We all feel pain. We all have terrible days. We all feel like sometimes we aren't enough. Our loved ones died because they were held prisoner to their thoughts. Thoughts that we all had at some point or another. It's time to talk about that. Wow. That's how you know God is good. You always, like, everything comes full circle. Because back then, I never even told anybody that my sister committed suicide because I was um, embarrassed. I think that suicide is one of those things that's still like a taboo. Um, it's crazy because it feels like like everybody looks at like you or your family like well if your sister committed suicide and you were in the other room like what was wrong with your connection like what was wrong with your family felt like she couldn't just talk to one of you. Once we talk, we begin to open up the door for others to do the same. Talking saves lives. I began telling my story and talking to hopefully save someone's life. But what I didn't realize is that by telling my story, I saved my own life. Don't keep feelings of depression and desolation to yourself. You aren't alone. Talk to someone. Sharing your story will help you, it'll help me, and it'll help the world begin to see that it's safe to talk. Just share, every day, all the time. Your story is the greatest gift you have, and with it, you can be a beacon of light and help save someone's life.